Well, welcome back. Bibb County Schools are in phase one of their plan to decide whether to consolidate schools next year. Now, according to the school district, enrollment is dropping and most of their schools are below the state's recommended base size. And that means Bibb could lose some federal funding for those schools. And Deputy Superintendent Katika Lovett says the decision will be based on enrollment along with other factors. Naomi Washington spoke to Lovett about all of the things they use when it comes to deciding which schools to keep open and which ones to close. Bibb County's list of schools could be shorter going into next year. Katika Lovett says the district plans to collect reaction on possible closings from their steering committee and the public during school board meetings and town halls. Based on their opinions and the help of a project manager, she'll make a recommendation to the school board next March. Should a recommendation move forward for consolidation, there may be a change next year. Um, if a recommendation does not move forward, there may not be a change. But we do know that we are going to work diligently to put a, a positive recommendation in front of the board so that we can have something that increases our financial efficiency. This wouldn't be the first time Bibb County consolidates schools. John R. Lewis Elementary is a combined school that opened a few years ago. We haven't made a determination around a school, but I'm sure that low enrollment will play a part into the recommendations that we'll look at, along with several other things. Not everyone is rooting for changes. Um, I'm totally against that. Paula Powell has two children in Bibb County schools. She says consolidating schools will mean less one-on-one -on -one attention for students. If the public school system keeps consolidating schools, then kids are going to get to falling behind, behind. So at this point, I value my kids' education. Bibb says phase two of the process will start this fall and include collecting enrollment numbers and community focus groups to involve more opinions. In Bibb County, Naomi Washington, 13 WMAZ News. Now, Katika Lovett says the district will determine what happens to the vacated school buildings after a final consolidation decision. You can follow the entire process on the Bibb County School System's website and on their social media pages. Lovett also encourages people to attend their public hearings, town halls, and to complete a survey in the future.